Welcome to Sparta 98. Sparta Sports and Entertainment has got one set tonight. Featherweight, King of Sparta. And if you're not familiar with this tournament, well, the CEO of Sparta Sports and Entertainment is Jeff Cisneros. We're alongside lightweight in the UFC, Drew Dober as well. Jeff, tonight, this card is stacked in this division for the Featherweight, King of Sparta. Honestly, on paper, if it plays out as expected, this is the best King of Sparta tournament on paper. Let's see how it plays out. But for the first time ever, one versus eight, it's murderer's row, Todd. I mean, every one of these guys came in on championship weight as well. Yes, everybody made it on the money yesterday. Drew, you take a look at this and, and how it springboarded some fighters. Dustin Jacoby comes to mind, one of my golf playing buddies. He won this, got back in the UFC, and went on a seven fight unbeaten streak. This can really change somebody's night tonight. I mean, it's a super impressive tournament. You know, going from boxing, kickboxing to MMA, I mean, it shows a full realm uh, of martial arts. And the eight guys competing tonight, we have a pro boxer, pro kickboxer, UFC vet, Bellator vet. Like, this is just a, an amazing eight-man tournament that I'm, I'm super excited about. When you put a card together like this, Jeff, you know, and you get going and, you know, you're dealing with all pros. You don't have to worry about, oh, guy's going to fall out because of weight. But it's getting all, this kind of talented card together has got to be one of the dreams that you've had. And because the King of Sparta tournaments that we've seen have yeah. all been great. This one looks unbelievable. It really is. I mean, credit goes to matchmaker Vern Earwood. He put it together. And, you know, we when we saw the applications, I'm like, if this will stick and it stuck, we're here fight night, the most stacked King of Sparta tournament we've ever had. And I, we're gonna, we might see an upset. In all seven King of Spartas previously, the number ones made it to the finals each time. The number one to win it four times, Josh Huber once, and our man LT Nelson three times. Well, you know, anybody that knows LT knows how tough it was. And the last King of Sparta we brought to you, remember Luis Pena came in, I think he was a little bit cocky, not really realizing what he was in for, and then, then he ran into LT, and there's a couple guys on this card. But Drew, you see these guys in the UFC, to me, Yusuf Salal should be there. He, he, he should have been, been there a little while ago. I think tonight, if he, if he can somehow win this tournament, I think that gets him in. I mean, we have a ton of talented individuals in this tournament, but one common theme with all champions in King of Sparta is that, uh, that internal fortitude, right? You have three fights in one night, right? So you got to be technical in all three fights and being able to recover from injury, adversity, and, and really trying to stay on your A game for all three fights is, is just requires a lot of internal fortitude. And uh, I'm excited to see which fighter shows up with that. Obviously, from a fighter standpoint, if you you want to you want to end it as quick as possible, right? If you're getting the boxing rounds first, you want to get it onto that and, and try to get that KO in the first round. Right, right. You definitely don't want to go into your second fight injured. But really, I think it comes down to just maintaining that that mental discipline that you know all fighters have. You know, we all bring it in, in our first fight, but being able to continue bringing it in in uh, the second fight and the third fight for every single round. So really, it's more about what you have in here than versus what you have up here. And Jeff, for for those viewers that are new, that are new to Sparta, that, that don't know how this started, let them know how the King of Sparta sports idea started to have this tournament because it's been a huge success. Well, honestly, LT Nelson comes to mind. I, we would watch him beating the brakes off of people on their feet. Then they would get him down, and it was a different fight. So I thought in my head, if somebody would have to fight this guy, you have to walk through hell with that guy on your feet, yeah. one way or the other. So if you've got to fight him in boxing, then kickboxing, by the time you get to MMA, a pure, true ground guy will not survive the tournament. You have to have legitimate striking to make it all the way through, yeah. and that was uh, that's that's what separates us. It's a copyrighted tournament for the male and female, and we're excited. Let's get to business, boys. Absolutely. And the last thing is, listen, if if, if you're not a great wrestler, grab you got to at least be able to scramble. I mean, we're all mixed martial artists. I mean, and so ideally, these these eight contestants are coming in with a full spectrum of uh, disciplines: ground game, wrestling, and striking. And uh, man, it's we're going back to the original UFC one, where it's just <laughs> the, the best man in each discipline fighting three fights in one night to figure out who is the baddest man in this room right now. For Jeff Cisneros, I'm Todd Romero, and Drew Dober. We'll be back. J.R. Gordon will be on the call with us as we get set for Sparta '98 in the featherweight King of Sparta.